Okay. In the past, you were doing like 200 shows a year, something like that. Now, with the comeback, uh, do you expect to be as, as active as you were before, or are you going to relax this time? Uh, I'll be a little bit less. I mean, we don't want to just jump back into it and go too crazy and burn ourselves out again and not want to do right back where we started, you know? So it's just a matter of uh, uh, kind of easing our way into it and seeing how things go. But uh, we'll definitely uh, be slowly getting more and more time down. It's going uh, to take some time. Oh, good. Well, so Fred helped you on the production of this new album. Uh, he also worked with the band Sevenfold. Uh, why did you choose him for the job? What made you say, well, Fred is a man for this job? Um, I think we just wanted somebody a little bit more hands off. I mean, he's somebody that, you know, um, who's known for a little while, who we're comfortable with. So that was something that was really important to us. Um, you know, especially when you're trying to be creative and do things in the studio, you definitely want to be in a situation that's uncomfortable for you. So, uh, for us, it was really important to, uh, to the someone that we felt comfortable with. So, the combination of those things is, uh, you know, made it really uh, the perfect choice for us. I mean, we're very, uh, self-sufficient as far as our songwriting and even producing ourselves. Um, and so, with that being said, we wanted someone who wasn't going to put their hands in our stuff too much and maybe more so be there to help us get uh, the sounds and the vibes and, uh, and achieve the goal that we're trying to uh, um, achieve. Oh, great. So, do you see this album as a continuation of, of Congregation of the Dam, or do you, because for me, the vibe of the album is the 2005-2007 era of Atreyu, you know, between those years, that, that's the sound that I, at least me, I get it on, on the new album. You were focused on doing a, uh, just a continuation of uh, Congregation of the Dam, or something focused on, on earlier works? Um, yeah, we just, I don't know, I guess it kind of depends a little bit everything we've done. Um, there's uh, definitely elements of all those albums in there, but uh, a little bit of some new for you as well, too, you know? So, I don't know, we never really try to sound like any one of our records. We want everything to be different, it's its own, its own uh, have its own personality. So, uh, some might be similar, like in this situation. Like you said, it definitely has a feel of more of our um, kind of mid career stuff as far as our the curves and depth of on yesterday and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, it's just kind of a, a refreshing change for us. Oh, good. So, does these three years without being a Treyu uh, help you in some sort of way to see from outside how the rest of the people sees your band? For example, when you are in the band and you are active, maybe you don't see things that the other people see, like people from the industry or fans or something like that. These three years help you to to see it for you as a, with a different point of view? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely very humbling not being in the limelight for a while and just kind of working kind of a more normal job, as they say, and doing, uh, I don't know, just doing other stuff and just seeing what that was like. I don't know, it's just like, uh, you know, it's like you learned a lot about yourself and then you made us outside of the, the guys that train you, you know? But, um, yeah, it's a, it's a cool experience and I feel something good to, uh, Good for anybody in a band to do to kind of humble you and kind of keep you grounded and you know where you came from and how hard it is to do, you know, even stuff that other people do for uh, for daily work, you know. <laughs> right. So when you finally decide to go, uh, well, on your rehearsal room and just uh, release, uh, well, practice uh, the songs that you were playing before, wasn't like time you didn't just passed by, like these three years were nothing and you were just clicked together instantly or it was like a process of just remembering everything again? Yeah, no, it took, uh, I mean, it just took a, a little shaking of the best off, you know, I mean, we, uh, we had a lot of us haven't really played this song since then, so um, definitely was a little rusty at first, I mean, it felt good and it definitely feels, it felt comfortable in that sense that we you know, we've been doing it together for so long that it just it feel like no time has passed in that sense. Good. Uh, the lyrics of, of uh, these new songs, uh, some of there are a bit of anger, uh, some seem to be focused on, on personal things as well. Do you, do you include some personal issues or things that happen to members in the band on these new songs? 
Yeah, I mean, for the most part, it's either issues that have happened to us or just issues that, you know, are con- concern us in life and we feel would be a, a good subject matter to, uh, to write about. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Great. So on this uh, tour that you're going to do to promote the new album, uh, are you going to play a lot of these new songs or do you prefer to just uh, put a couple of new songs on the set and then do songs from the other albums? Um, we'll do a little bit of everything. I mean, probably definitely a few songs on the album. We definitely want to uh, kind of really push push that album and, and let people know that we're not just, uh, you know, just kind of doing it from it. We're doing it because we're serious and we're we're back and we're here to uh, here to stay. So um, definitely gonna play a few songs off the album. Oh, good. So then, if the decision was it was your decision to put the bands on the bill to go with you on tour, if you have to choose two bands right now, which two bands would you take with a trade you on tour right now? Um, I think it's because we were in some songs. Yeah. And uh, maybe it's nice and nice. Great. That will be a, a killer lineup. <laughs> yeah, all right. This is great. Man. I would love to do that. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, Trey was uh, first uh, known, at least uh, worldwide, when you released the, Cure, the Cures on 2004, 2005. Okay. That was when the band went really big, and it was associated with uh, the metalcore, where it was also a lot of bands coming out from that time. Uh, does it bother you that people still associate your music to that label? Because, you know, since then, the the, the music of a trilogy has progressed a lot. So, uh, do you bother to be associated with Metalcore still after all these years? Um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of weird. I mean, like, when we started, it didn't really exist, you know? It was just kind of, it just kind of came around because fans like us or Under Oath or, you know, Poison Well or Avenged Sevenfold, Kill Switch Engage, like, all these bands like like several different styles of music, and they just didn't want to settle for sounding like one thing. So it was like let's mix all these styles together. Yeah. You know, even something as extreme as something being melodic and something heavy and mixing. But nowadays it's like people aren't trying to do something different like that. At the time, that was different; it didn't exist. But now people are just taking things that exist and just kind of doing their own kind of watered down copies of it. And it's, uh, I feel the the metalcore scene is uh, unfortunately most of it's not that good. Most of it's kind of very just you know cookie cutter stuff and yeah. uh, I don't know I just haven't heard a really good signature band in a while I mean there's a few bands that come out that are you know are pretty good and doing well for themselves but I still don't I haven't heard anything in particular that really stands out to me like wow like, this could be the next Capica this could be the next uh, the, you know Judas Priest the next Slayer like this could be a couple special they're different they're interesting it just seems like the same old thing over and over again which is a, a little bit of a shame I mean in that sense, it's a, you know, it's a bummer to be um, attached to something that's not, I don't know, some, something other than, well, I, I don't know, I guess, what it, I guess metaphor is more what's going on now, not necessarily what we were doing, we kind of just kind of stuff party starts, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So on your press release, it's mentioned that you influence some uh, bands. Uh, now, the, for example, Hollywood and Dead and Of Mice and Men. Uh, do you see yourselves as this way, like uh, an influential band from for bands that are coming out now? Uh, absolutely. I and mean, I see all these bands do, whether it be stage moves or, you know, the type of riffs that they do or even the way they dress or so many things that are very much, you know, stuff that we were doing, you know, 10, 15 years ago. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, so it's interesting, like, because at the time, like, some of the stuff we were doing, nobody else, even in our genre, was doing, like, we were some of our stage moves and stuff were very, uh, reminiscent of, like, classic, you know, 70s, 80s rock and metal. So I feel that was something that, like, our synchronized stage moves and stuff definitely, uh, influenced a lot of bands to nowadays do, like, synchronized stage moves on stage and bobbing and that. I don't know, it's, it's kind of turned into something weirder. I don't know. I don't like to be kind of the direction that's gone in, but, uh, it's definitely, we still a lot of bands, you know, um, that do that stuff. So even including, uh, you know, Mice and Men or uh, Hollywood and Dead. Um, I think more so Mice and Men. Um, but, uh, yeah, they're definitely, uh, you can hear that they, uh, they have at least uh, a couple of straight albums in their, uh, in their CD player. Mm, okay. Well, uh, the decision of putting the band down three years ago, uh, does it have, uh, in some sort of way, uh, 
will influence that you maybe be disappointed of the music industry, like you were thinking that it will be something else, or does it, the music industry has disappointed you in some sort of ways? That's why you you quit doing a trade, you or it was another thing? Um, I mean, yes, no. I mean, there's there are some good stuff going on in the music industry right now. Yeah, but I mean, overall, I'd say the music industry is not as amazing as it has been in the past. Yeah. Um, there's there's a few things that shine here and there that are good and you know, I, everybody kinda of gravitates towards that. But I mean I feel overall there's a lot of lack of originality, you know, across most genres of music, not even just metal. You know, like it's just it's, I don't know, it's the world is uh it's a strange place. It just doesn't have the, the energy and excitement it did um, you know, back in like the seventies and eighties even, um, with music and just like how big and over the top everything was. I don't know, it's, it's, it's kind of its own shape and form of it now, but I just, I don't know. I, just, it's, it's, I feel like they don't, they don't do it like they used to. Okay. Well, just to finish the interview, uh, you have an amazing record coming out. You have a tour plan to promote this. Then what do you think is the, the thing that you want people to get about this new Atreyu album? Is that you are still there and you're still strong, that you can, you can go and progress on your music? What is uh, the best thing and the thing that you want the press and the fans to get about this new Atreyu album? Um, it's kind of, it's, it's basically us coming full circle. It's us taking everything we've learned along the way and uh, compiling it into one just big badass album. And, uh, you know, we've, We, we were around at a time where, you know, we helped grow a genre that didn't exist, you know, when it started. And so for us to come back in a time where the style of music we partially helped influence is very popular now. Yeah. Like, it feels like, I don't know, and I, especially that I feel a lot of this stuff watered down, I feel like it's almost like it's the right time for a band like us or some of the other bands in our genre that are coming back now to so all step up and, and show the kids how it's done, as they say. <laughs> in some sort of way like uh, claiming a crown like saying okay I was doing this 15 years ago it's time for me to come back some sort of way yeah and they're not even too I mean like uh, when some people come back and it's just not it's not that awesome it's like ah oh, you should have stayed gone you know but we came back uh, we've come back guns blazing and just want to uh, I don't know we can't wait for the world to hear our album and say what we've done <laughs> 